right, so again, we're going to build the higher term here by asking, okay, what's missing from my current denominator to make this new denominator? Well, obviously, I have an x plus 5. I'm missing an x minus 1. So I would have to multiply by x minus 1. And whatever I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. So I'll multiply it by x minus 1. And then I'll want to use my distributive property. So my new numerator looks like 4x minus 4 and that's building the higher term. Now let's do it again. Oh my goodness, this one I have to factor before I can apply my strategy. So that's where our factoring skills come in with building the higher term. This has a GCF, so I'm gonna take that GCF three out, and now I see this looks like three times x plus one. So now I can see what's missing. So I have numbers, right? Still the same old, same old with numbers. So three to make a six, I have to multiply this by a two. And then x plus one, there's an x plus one squared, so that means I have one factor of x plus one missing. So I'm gonna be multiplying by two times x plus one. And one times two, Remember the associative property of multiplication. One times two is two, and then two distributes through here. So we'll end up with two x plus two as my higher term. Get used to multiplying those out. You really need that. All right, let's do part D. So part D, again, I need to factor this in order to be able to see what my least common or what's missing to make my common denominator. So all these have a factor of two in them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out that factor of two, and that's going to leave me with an x squared plus a two x, and then plus a one, and then I'm going to look at that and go, oh my goodness, that's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. Could it be a perfect square trinomial? So the root here is 1. The root here is 1. 1 times 1 times 2 is 2. Absolutely, this is a perfect square trinomial. So this is going to look like the root here and the root here. Binomial squared, right, because the trinomials get small. And then whatever the middle sign is, is the middle sign here. And so what I'm missing for, to make this denominator, this denominator is just simply a 3. So I'll multiply by a 3 here and a 3 here. And 8 times 3 is 24. Now, there was that common factor of a 2 here and here, and you might be tempted to cancel when we're building the higher terms. Don't cancel it, though. Um, if it were as part of an addition problem, which is what we're going to do next, yeah, you very well might want to cancel that out and just make your life easier. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to apply this building the higher term. And applying the building the higher term, we're going to have to find an LCD first. So let's recall what finding an LCD was in practice. So we're going to have to factor to find an LCD and then the unique factors to the highest exponents. So we are going to find the LCD for x plus 2 and 3x plus 2. Well, 3x plus 2 has a common factor of 3, so we'll factor that out. And that leaves us with 3 times x plus 2. So the least common denominator for x plus 2 and 3 times x plus 2, it's going to have 3's in it, and it's going to have x plus 2's in it, and then the x plus 2's. Now sometimes it really helps to put parentheses around binomials. This is to the first power, and this is to the first power. Remember the highest power, not the sum of them, the highest power. So 3 times x plus 2 is our least common denominator. Okay, now adding when we have unlike denominators, we're going to need to apply finding a least common denominator and then building higher terms. So if we have a least, uh, an unlike denominator, we have to find the least common denominator like we just did. Then we have to build the higher terms like we did just a little bit ago. And then we distribute subtraction, add the numerators, factor and cancel if possible, just like we would when we had common denominators. So with this one, we already found the least common denominator, right? So our least common denominator, we found for this one to be 3 times x plus 2. So now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building the higher terms. So we see that this one already has the higher term, so we're not doing anything, and we just have to say, okay, what's missing from this one? So that's a 3. So we're going to multiply top and bottom. So this is going to be equal to 3 times 6, which is 18, minus 9, all over my least common denominator of 3 times x plus 2. And you could write just LCD there. And 19 minus, or 18 minus 9 is 9 over 3 times 